incorporate that strategy. And so that's where things like social con and learning from the best out there, just go and, go and look at someone that's really killing it and copy them and, and start moving in that direction, right? To have the right kind of strategy so that it's actually leading to an end that's helpful for your business. the management and transparency is what's very important. So once you submit a referral, you're going to have your own home advantage account and it's going to tell you where everything sits. So if you have 10 referrals that you've sent into the network, it's going to give you all 10 referrals. It's going to tell you every milestone that that client is sitting in, whether they're touring homes, whether they're in escrow. And you now can manage through the home advantage application as far as what your pipeline looks like for the referrals that you've sent. And so it's pretty sophisticated uh, and it's, it's all click of a button, guys. Let, let's, uh, let's talk about social media because you, you guys have a product that I really love um, because you've simplified the process for us to send out short video and content in different forms. And I think you hit on what's trending right now. And yeah. what's trending is short video and in those short videos sticking to music which we can add right or or certain trends that we want to do like i just did one two days ago i'm like oh i have to show you this one hold on okay yeah let's i'm see. always surprising you i don't know how this yeah, I, know. I, I love it like let's go there Tristan. let's look at it oh damn it oh uh, that's so funny so i shot this one here look yeah, i opened that one up i just opened my tiktok all right i shot this one jake can you give me control so i can share my screen so robert what i'm doing is i'm i'm typically shooting a video on on my camera and then i'm changing it up on cap cut cap cuts been the the video editor on my phone that i've been using All right. so cap cut has this great filter it, a lot of the filters that you see on tiktok or a lot of those templates they're made on CapCut, so you can easily grab them on there. Nice. And so one of them is, let me shrink this, is this one I just did uh, with Pedro Pascal just eating a sandwich. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I'm going to just, I'm going to do a parody of it. I put real estate agents slow, uh, slowly giving up because banks are effing up the world, right? <laughs> Which is this. 100%. Not that one here. Let me go to this one. That's what it is. It's just eating a sandwich. It's literally five seconds long, right? And, and it's the, got like 30,000 people views of it. Yeah. The, the key is it's so short and it's going with a trend that if I look at the analytics, um, it's slowly uploading it. Um, dude, 45 hours of watch time. The video is only five seconds long. That's but insane. <laughs> to me, this was impressive. Like the more people that watch the video, right? The more that this is going to be sent out to people, right. the full video, right? And I'm like, right. okay. So this is why it's important to, to start using more of the trends. And if I go to what you guys do, which is right here, um, it's, by the way, if you want to get there, everyone, I'll, I'll put the link. It's redx.com brand builder, uh, forward slash brand builder. There's our best friend. There we yeah, go. that's Curtis. You know, you gotta, gotta listen to that guy. Yeah, uh, this is what you do. That's right. You, you help us with instructions on what to say, right? How to how to just sit in front of a camera, say whatever it is we're going to say. Then you guys grab it, all that raw video, and start dicing it up. That's right. And then you upload it to wherever we need to upload it, right? Yep. And it's literally all done, which is you guys had the background. And and if we send you other videos and be like, let's do this, we can see more examples here. Um, yep. But there's Fagio. Yeah, yeah. There's some great examples here. And I think the reason I really like this, I think you guys hit on something because agents are, this is just like we talk about with Red X and expired and everything know. else. Our job is to create relationships, right? And you, you've actually wow. taken it a step further with Brand Builder to help us do what we hate doing. I don't like editing. <laughs> right. I don't like editing. I'm like, well, I, you know, Tristan, 
it, it's not even about what you like to do. I mean, it is that as well, but it's what you're good at. I mean, real estate agents don't, you don't become an agent because you're really good at social media marketing, right? You're not like, I'm so good on social media. I should sell houses, right? Like, <laughs> like, like there, there are a, a hundred other reasons why you got into real estate and social media marketing was not one of them. And, and you can see that because not everyone's a Tristan that can be a superstar on social media on, on what you see other agents producing. And then, you know, why, why they're on the brand builder page, the very first thing that says, hey, we hope you know what to say. Because look, you that if you're joining in, if you're listening, if, uh, if you're out there trying to make social media, you know that part of your prospecting, part of staying in touch with past clients, part of finding new potential uh, sellers and buyers is to be present on social media. But you go on and you're like, I have no idea where to start. And you and, and you have the tools. All you need is your phone, but you can turn on that camera and it's like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to do next. And so we start with the simplest thing, which is like, hey, let's just help you know what to say by we have a library of thousands of prompts. So whatever it is you want to talk about, if you want to talk about your business, if you want to talk about local attractions, if you want to talk about uh, your hobbies and passions, it's in there. But uh, one thing that Tristan, you don't even know this, I don't think, because we just released it two weeks ago right. and we go to the other trend going on in real estate and the whole world. And that's chat GPT and AI. Yes. Um, so if you have an idea of you're like, hey, I'd like to talk about X, Y, Z, uh, then in Brand Builder itself. And maybe if I can share my screen, I can show you because it's Dude, even please. Let's let do me, it. Let me make Let's you do a it. host. Boom, uh, done. Oh, cool. I get to, I get a log in. It logged me out. So it'll take me a second, but you're going to see what happens in a matter of 30 seconds. Okay. Uh, to be able to have your own script and prompt ready to go uh, because of technology out there right now. Now you tell me now you're surprising me, Rob. Yeah, now I'm surprising you because this is I like want to see this hot off the press. So, okay. I, I can share now. Yeah, you can Let's share. do this. Uh, share screen. There we go. Let's find my vortex. I'm excited to see um, what what you. OK, add on so, you, so this is brand builder inside of Red X Vortex, right? Uh, so you guys can see that. Yep, and yep. Uh, and and already when it's like, hey, what what is it that I want to talk about? This is where you can go in and you, and you can see, you know, maybe you're. Oh. So this is already made for you to come in and do that. Or, hey, I want to talk about video games. I was meeting with Realty One mm -hmm. and their franchise and brokerage, and they're going to have their oh, they have their own prompts in there. Uh, but but you can see pre foreclosures, for example. Hey, what am I going to say? Well, here's an outline of what to say. If you want to kind of okay, just give me a few bullet points and I'll talk to it. Or here's a full script, right? So we've got thousands of these already in there. Whoa! If, if you're not finding one that you that you want, you're like, I don't, I don't really like that one. You click here, new idea, and now you see this work in Tristan. Yeah, it is. It's going to give us all sorts of comments while it's thinking about it. Ooh. But it is generating a brand new, unique prompt for me to to be able to uh, record today. And I can do this however many times I want, and and with and it doesn't have to be in one that's already here. If I want to have a whole new idea, I just come in here and I say, "Oh, by the way, I also want to talk about entrepreneurship and business." Wow. And now that's going to be in my ideas, and I can now create. Uh, and you see, I, I I do this all the time, so they're just all over the place. I have all of them now. That's a new group that I can create new ones in. Where where is that one? The entrepreneurs and business. I want to see that one. Uh, right here. Okay. Right? So I can't, I can't see it. I need that. Just populated it. Go. Got it. Okay. How yeah. to the business plan and seven easy steps. Oh, click on that. I want to see that. So th those ones exist. Okay. And same thing. If you already know what you want to talk about. So these are already built. But if you're like, I, I, I want to, I want something different today that is not in the library. So our yeah. pre foreclosure one, we just made this one. So remember, it was thinking before. This is a brand new one. I have an outline. A, a hook, wow. an outro, or I have a full script. If I like, just really don't know what to say, it now exists. And this, and it's now mine. No one else has that prompt because Whoa. I just made it right now. Uh, if it's in the library, someone else might be able to use that prompt, but we have enough customers. So it's probably not going to happen. But uh, 
What? I can just create one today, right now, and 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 put that in there. So that's a, that's a new thing that we just did on that very first step of just like, hey, oh, I don't I don't know how to get started or what to say. Sitting there in Vortex with your Red X account, with your brand builder account, you have thousands and thousands of prompts and a brand new unique one today, if that's what you want, or ten. Yeah. yeah. So that that's something new that we just added to, to brand builder where now people can go in, they get over that first hurdle of what does, what am I supposed to say? Hey, here's yeah. some amazing ideas to get in the trending. It doesn't say put Pedro Pascal eating the sandwich on there. I'm going to have to add that one now that I know about it. Well, then, but, see, uh, what, what I'm doing is in between of that, right? Because yeah. we need we need all this good stuff that you have. Like, I loved the entrepreneur one about the seven steps to building a, a business plan. I was like, oh, I, w- I would use that. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, so I love that. And then I mix it up with duets or remixes, right? Where I see other videos that are trending and then just share those and point at those. I think the mix of that is the key, man. Yeah, and for sure. There's nothing out there that does what you just showed me. Like that is literally it. I love, dude. I'm, I'm just. <laughs> can I- no, it's exciting, and then I need access to that. Yeah, the, we we need to you, we need to go add it to your account because uh, you have everything else on there. So we need to make sure that you have that too. Um, and and then what happens though is. You don't have to become a video editor. Like I love the tagline on one of those that says a whole content team in your pocket because yeah. you shoot the video after you've got that prompt and then you send it off and you've you've hired a content team here. Essentially, we have a hundred people that are working on everyone's accounts that are going to edit that, make derivative content for you and write the copy, add the trends. So they know like, like if you ask me, you're like, Hey, Robert, what's the trending sound on TikTok today? I'd be like, I don't know. Tristan knows because he's there well, all the time. That's why we make such a good combo. It yeah. Sense. And, and, then you, and then you go and, and you've got a content team that'll do that for you. And I'm going to give you a plug, Tristan, because I, I love this. Uh, you know, here we're on Lab Coats and we're talking social media, which is the largest uh, community here for real estate agents. But you also, uh, you have your Drunk on Social and Social Genius where you help people because you're saying, hey, this combo, right? So Red X can help you get that c- content created. But uh, where where I love what Tristan's doing and Jeff on Drunk on Social and Social Genius is actually helping people then create their strategies, right? So an agent yeah. is not an expert. Now I'm going to go start making content, but like, where's the strategy in that that will actually help me get more listings? Because that's the only reason you want to do this. That's you it. don't want to make social media so that you're the funniest guy on social media. You, nope. as an agent, you want to use it to get more listings. And so, um, so Tristan, I, I, I'm teeing you up. Uh, I know I, I'm your guest, but I love being on your show. And I, I just like, there's some stuff that you go through on coaching and you have an event coming up that can really help people in this, right? Yeah, I'll do show show con really quick, which you guys Please. are part of. Uh, Social Con, it happens in two weeks. I don't know. Two yeah, and a half. Yeah. I don't know. Right. April 3rd and 4th, uh, we've got uh, great people with a lot of a massive following on different channels. Um, most of you probably know London because he's a good friend of ours. So we're always showcasing London. Uh, but Kenya is awesome. Dylan's great. Uh, Austin's on the rise. Some of you may already know him because he pops up on your feed. It, out of everyone here, he's the only one that's actually broken through on every social outlet. Awesome. So YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. He's done an amazing job. Uh, Gigi, you might recognize from being on Sports Illustrated, and she grew her social through just being more authentic. She's probably going to be the most real out of everyone here. And then Kennedy Hart, good guy, you know, uh, not not related. <laughs> to the other heart i, I wondered yeah so there you go although you know they have this uh you know similar style of both great people uh kevin hart's not too far from me right here which yeah. is a good thing. uh then we have a whole different section of panelists all real estate related right so we wanted to bring in the real estate side of this and then we also wanted to showcase how this looks outside of real estate so both uh but Good point on on what you're bringing up, because as you let me go back to 
uh, brand builder. Uh, those are the prices. But as you guys are doing this, which is the videos that you're uploading and editing, um, we're focusing a lot on the strategy, right? Right. And that means when you're reading this, whatever you're reading that pops up and say, got it, the seven things, the seven uh, simple steps to create a business plan, right? I'm going through it. I'm saying, great, this is beautiful. Now, this is how you start it because this is the hook, right? And this is how you edit the video in between uh, so that at least it makes it easier for you guys to edit and piece together as right. well. So um, there's a lot to it, man. I love this. I want to- yeah, and and I think, you know, you talk strategy uh, because you can't just go out there and just start making content without the end in mind and how this works into how am I as an agent going to get more business? What am I going to do on social media to find uh, the now business, right? And that might be through targeting expireds and FISBOs and actually making content for people that need an agent in the next 60 to 90 days. Yeah. Um, and then what's my future business? So how, how am I building a reputation that connects with my community so that I'm top of mind when they're ready, when they're not in the 3% that might buy or sell this year, when they're, you know, when it's next year or, or they want to get an investment property. And then the last part of that is how do I stay in contact with the clients I have had so that they don't forget me seven years from now when they're ready to buy and sell again. And so you have all of these pieces of your strategy that are a lot more than how do I go viral? Uh, how does my hair look on this? Do I have the right <laughs> lighting? That is, are actually about how do I turn my social media reputation into business? And, uh, and that is such an important step to take because if you just go buy Brand Builder, without having thought of that, <laughs> then 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 you're going to be making some awesome content that might not lead to your business yet. You want to incorporate that strategy. And so that's where things like social con and learning from the best out there, just go and, go and look at someone that's really killing it and copy them and, and start moving in that direction, right? To have the right kind of strategy so that it's actually leading to an end that's helpful for your business. Yeah, that's very true, man. It's a good combo. I didn't know. I'm still trying to. I'm surprised that 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 you guys integrated so fast with uh, with ChatGPT. I'm like, oh, oh shit. We have some smart people here. It's not that, me, but we have I, some smart people here. That, that was awesome, that. dude. I'm <laughs> I'm excited to test that out because it makes it easier for us. It's like, oh yeah, here's the content, right? And here's the strategy behind it. And then you've got a pepper in stuff that's more that's trending, like for yep. instance. Um, I, I did this video two weeks ago. I want to just show you strategy so that yeah. you, you see what this looks like. If I go to YouTube, this is my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm going to go to this one specifically, the Warren Buffett one I did. I'm literally just pointing at Warren and I asked, is the Buffett right? Right. Uh, it got uh, 4,000 views on shorts, on YouTube shorts. Not bad. Uh, I did, but I decided to upload it to TikTok. And in TikTok, it got 302,000 views. Not, <laughs> not bad at all, right? Not bad. <laughs> and then on Instagram, it got 1.8 million views. Oh, wow. Uh, and that increased, it increased my following dramatically on Instagram. Uh, it did it increase my following a little bit on TikTok and very little on YouTube. But the point is, like, you you start growing your audience it, because this is the one thing I hear all the time. It's like, well, it's not all about growing your audience. I'm like, well, partially it is because if you don't have an audience to show these great videos you're making about real estate, then then why are you doing this? Because the goal at the end of the day is to build relationships through social media so they can eventually do transactions with you, right? That's right. So That's right. you're growing this audience to things that are working. And then the rest of it is done with with you, right? With your company to be able to pepper in the important things, right? That's right. Uh, yeah. So- and, and and when we when we so we do some of the coaching on it. We we do if you go uh into brand builder and watch that webinar, you'll see because it if you're only talking about your listing, hey, look at this house I just listed, look at this house I just sold, I've got an open house coming up. 
then uh, then it will become some white noise on people's feeds. And they're going to go and they're like, oh, it's Robert. He's probably going to show off his latest listing, right? And so we we definitely talk to people, and I know you do the same, Tristan, because you're a perfect example of this. People should go through your page and see what you're doing, is you've got to have a full topic wheel. You have to say, what are three to five things that I'm passionate about and going to talk about? Um, because that's when people really become interested, right? And and uh, because people like authenticity and they like passion and they'll, they'll even listen to, to you when you're passionate about something, even if they disagree, because they're like, this guy, this guy, he's yeah. excited about what he's talking about, right? So true. And, uh, and, and that's where you build that following because you're not, you're not trying to pro- promote Warren Buffett. You're not selling his books. That's not, that's not necessarily your business, but you know that your audience is interested in what's going on in the economy right now. Yep. And they trust you because they've watched enough videos that you're going to you're going to help them with general economy questions, not just real estate. And so that video takes off because you've you've grown a reputation of someone that's going to to be able to speak to that, is passionate about it, is helpful about it. And uh, and then because they trust you in that, when you talk more real estate specific and then in your own real estate business as well, they're ready to listen. Right. Because they're like, I, I know tr- Tristan, from all of this other part of his personality that I trust, and so he also becomes an agent that I trust, and uh, and that's important. Well, that's what you're trying to build here, man. I think people forget, like, why are we on social media? A lot of us feel like we're like social media is toxic because when we go in there, we don't. We're very reactive. We don't have a plan, right? And so we're saying, you and I. And and the people we work with here, we're saying, hey, no, there there is a business plan behind this, and you're going in with with a whole different mindset. So you're not being used. You're actually using this as almost like a CRM. It's like I'm building a relationship here with everyone who's watching my videos continually, and I'm teaching them whether or not to keep scrolling or to stop the scroll based on the value I'm giving or lack thereof, which you see a lot of, right? That's right. So this is why I really love what you're doing, man. I think when I first saw it, what was it like a few months back? Yeah. I thought this is the, this is the most amazing thing that it's, it's going to, it's going to grow. But I think that as we help agents understand how important they have an idea, the how important social media really is. It's become an extension to prospecting. Yeah. It, in my world, it replaced cold calling and door knocking. And I'm really good at those. Like I love, <laughs> I love door knocking. And Jake, Jake's on here on the back end. We loved calling, right? And I'm like, wait a second. Out of both, I'll still call, which is not bad. But I would rather attract through making one great video that in in our case, right? Not in everyone's case, but in our case, got millions of views and increased my following. And now I can pepper in what I do for a living with these great videos that you edit for me. Right. And make every phone call that much easier, right? If if they already know you because of how you've interacted on social media, that, that that's that's the part that I really like because Ultimately, if you're going to get a listing, close a sale, whatever it's going to be, there's going to be a phone call. There's going to be human interaction. Yeah. It's, it's a, we're in a, a people business, right? Uh, but how much better can you warm up all those conversations when, pe- when, when you make that phone call and it's the first time you're actually talking and that person's like, Tristan, I know you, right? It's like, I, okay. even though you've never talked on the phone before, whether it be a cold call because you're actually going through your expires for the day or a call where, you know, you've made some, uh, whether it's a connection on social media, through email, texting, whatever. But the first time that they actually talk to you, they're like, I really know Tristan. I know, I know what he likes. I know what he likes to talk about. Um, and even though you've never talked on the phone before that a relationship exists and that's what social media allows us to do in a very positive way of, of being, uh, of, of having that kind of relationship even on a cold call. Dude, that is so true. And that's why I love the idea, uh, the button where you just press refresh. Give me more. <laughs> more. Right. That That's awesome. Great job on that. 
And you've outlined it so nicely too. Yeah. I was thinking the calendar that I give out monthly that you guys let, let's talk about how to make that even better. Cause if, if every day you could be like, I don't like that one, boom, I don't like that one. <laughs> All of a sudden, yeah. The calendar that I give out, that's already pre-made. You can have that digitally and be like, don't like that day. Don't like that day. Give me a different idea. I'm like, yeah, just generate. There's you something the here, man. You have. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, no, he, here's what, if you're an agent today listening and you, you're just either you don't, you're on social media, but don't have a plan or you know you should be on social media, uh, but you don't know how to get started. Here's a couple of things that I'd say to do. One, go to redx.com slash brand builder and just schedule a demo. You'll talk with our guys and they'll show you like, I love the, the, the button that we're keep talking about of being able to uh, spin up a new prompt, but they're going to take you through and show you all of the amazing things that you can do with Red X Brand Builder and how uh, for a real low cost, you have an entire content team on, on your team that can help you out. So I'd start there and then I would go uh, right to Tristan and Jeff, drunk on social. And uh, for a, an extremely low cost, you can get in their uh, group coaching to learn more about this. And, and if you're not sure, like, I don't, I'm not ready for that kind of commitment, then go to SocialCon in two weeks. <laughs> you can go in person. You can uh, you can go virtually, right, Tristan? Uh, that, is yeah, that open up that you can go? We've got, we've got both. I'll put up the links. It's social, yeah. socialcon2023.com. So. And, uh, and, and then go find out and be like, oh, yeah, these guys, you know what they're talking about. So I, I want to be in their group coaching. I, like, like those two things, because what's nice about them is, yeah, if you use them for like six months or a year and they work, then, then, then start doing it yourself. You know, uh, it, it just, just come in here uh, and it can either be training wheels to get going or it can be your plan going forward. But either way, that's where I'd start. I, I, like you cannot ignore social media in 2023. No, man, I agree. Uh, this is the calendar that I'm talking about. Now I'm yeah, thinking, I love your calendars. Now I'm thinking, <laughs> like, wait a second, if we can have, so so let me just talk this through with you live. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, let's, invent, let's invent a new product right now. Grant GPT uh, allows us to give it prompts, right? The prompts are what makes it amazing. If we could prompt it right here to have certain prompts for S, right? Uh -huh. with Certain prompts for T, for teaching, Certain prompts for advice based on hobbies, right? That you play or do or enjoy. And this one will be a little bit more challenging, but uh, prompts on you around what you, what it thinks you should do. Then each one of these, as you go through it, you're like, you know what? The advice, click it. I don't like that one. Click it again. I don't like that. Oh, that's a good one. I'll stick with that one. Yeah. Then you, in essence, have your own calendar that you can create based on it, STAY. Dude. Yeah, absolutely. I think we can do this. Yeah, let's do this because that's exactly what they like. Here's what the 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 developers and our product team did, right? So ChatGTP is open AI, uh, which means that it has tools to be able to go put it on the back end of your products. And that's exactly is they've learned how to give the right prompts to get the responses that are helpful. And uh, and then automate that in a way that could be on a calendar. So yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do, Tristan. We're going to connect with Connor. You've met Connor before, and uh, we're going to have the the coolest calendar. That's like your number one. I see people asking for that calendar all the time. That's like the number one piece of content people want from you all the time. People, I did. I've grown newsletter lists just from that calendar alone. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's awesome. Because because everyone gets stuck on okay. What I to need post? to be on social media. I need to make videos. I need to grow my business that way. And they pick up their phone. They're like, I have no idea what to say right now. I have no idea how to get this started. And so just having those prompts is. I always love talking to you, dude. <laughs> Seriously, I, like, I, every time it goes too long, I'm like, why, why don't Tristan and I talk? Every great day? ideas, man. <laughs> Shit. Like, this is good. Yeah. Thanks, man. I appreciate this. All right, everyone go and. Take a look at Brand Builder, at least. This is an absolutely amazing thing they've got here. And then if you need help as far as strategy, guidance, or anything, come to us at Drunk on Social. And if you can go to the event, it'll be amazing. We'll have lots of fun. And Red X will be there, too. So That's right. We'll be there. We're ready Thanks. to party with you, Tristan. Thanks so much for having us on today. Appreciate it. Feel better, man. Thanks, you too. Talk Thanks. to you later. Bye.